Hey guys, it's Jen from My Cree Crafts. Today I'm going to show you quick a quick tutorial on how to take fonts from Defont and put them into Design Space. So I'm going to go up to a new tab and I'm going to type in Defont. And if you've never worked with Defont but before it's really awesome you can pick so many different fonts and they are all free so they show you like the top ones here that people are using right now or you can use all these they have fancy foreign look gothic holiday ones I mean they have everything in here that you would be looking for and if you do not have the Cricut um, monthly or the yearly subscription you will be paying for your fonts so I go to here and um, download these. So I'm just gonna randomly pick one. I'm gonna go to initials and see what that looks like. I'm not sure. Oh, not too much. This might be a harder one to start with. So I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, handwritten under script. Wow, those are pretty. So, oh, this uh, I love glitter one. This one is so cool. I have this one already where it makes little um, hearts like this. It's really cool, so you can do that one. Um, but I will just pick, I see this one. I like the way this one looks, but you have to look here. This one says free for personal use. So you can use these for your free, your personal use. I will click on it and show you more. Um, it tells you a little bit more information about this. It says for personal use only and to purchase a license for commercial use, you could just email these people or um, go to their website. Um, but I do everything that I do is just for myself. Um, so I don't need to worry about any of this, but this is what it will look like. Here's your uppercase and your lowercase and some symbols that you have here. Um, so I'm going to download this one. So it's fairly easy. So I'm just going to go to download. And then for my particular computer, it just brings it up here for me. I'm in Firefox, so it might be the same for you or might not, but I just click on the download button. Here it is, Symphony. I just clicked on it. I'm going to double click this and open it up and here it is. So I'm going to install it. This is so simple. And then that was it. So I have that one. So remember the name, Symphony. I'm going to X out of these two. I'm going to go back to defont.com. I'm just going to randomly pick another one. Let's try, let's try this kid ones and see what they look like. Oh, just little shapes and stuff. If you want these kind of shapes, it will tell you, like I'll click on it. It will show you down at the bottom what um, shapes you get with what letters. So if you want a smiley face, you would just put a uh, capital A. If you want this half crescent moon, you would just type in a lowercase e. It's kind of fun to do. So if you're looking for shapes, you can do that one. But I'll just go back to Defont and find something else. Since Valentine is coming up, I'm just going to click on Valentine and see what they have. Oh wow, those are really cute. So with the hearts like this, I'm going to um, click on this one, Chasing Hearts. So if you scroll down to the bottom, see here's a little heart. So to get that, you just want to push this little, uh, it looks like a star or a plus sign, um, to get those little hearts up here after you type the name. So I actually, I think I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to download this one as well. And then it's going to bring it up here. And I'm going to open that up. And then it, sometimes they give you... Um, different things where you can read them or learn more information about it. Um, but you just want to click on the uh, open file type and that will bring the screen up. And then you can click install and then it will install it on your computer for you. I'm going to X out of these and then I'm going to go to design space and I'm going to do one thing before I get started. I'm going to refresh my page and the reason I do that, I'm going to click leave page and the reason I do that is because it's like resetting the whole thing. Your, your fonts are saved on your computer but to do the next thing you need to save it on design space so for whatever reason it makes you um, refresh your page so if you are working on something already please make sure that you save it before you do it. So I'm going to go to text and I'm just going to type in hello Whoops. and it's just going to bring up the regular font that um, Cricut always starts with. I'm going to go to font up here and then here with all is every single font that you have in your system or in design space. Um, these ones, like I said, if you don't have the yearly or the monthly subscription, they will um, charge you for them. So this is why I love to font. You can get so many beautiful uh, fonts for free. So I'm going to go over to system. 
And these are the ones that I already downloaded from Defon and some of the free ones that Cricut does give you. But I already forgot the name of it, so I'm going to go up here to my little button and type it in. So I see Symphony, so I'm going to write in here and start it, and here it is, Symphony. And there it is. Oh, I love it already. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And you can leave it the way it is, or you can work with them and attach them. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to go up here to ungroup. And that's going to just leave every letter um, individually by itself. So I'm just going to move them over. And you don't have to. And kind of see how they look. There, I like that. And I'm putting them all together. But when you do this, you want to make sure that you are overlapping enough on both letters and not too much where you see this extra part here. So you're going to want to make it just enough that it's touching. So if you see this part here, that will not cut out properly. So you just want to have it over the other letter just enough. So there we go, just for purposes to show you. And I'm going to move the H over just a tad more. I don't think I'm going to attach this, but it's just to show you. But one other thing I like to do is select it all and just make it a little bit bigger. And then you can really see if you're missing any lines or anything here. So if you um, like it the way that it is, you can, while it's already all selected, just click weld. And then that will weld your letters together so when you go to cut them out, they will be cut the exact way you see it and you won't have any little in, little cuts in between here. So there's the first one. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because we are done with this one. And then I'm going to go to the text box again. I'm just going to type in welcome. And it's going to bring the same font that we just used, the symphony. So if you want to continue with that, you can. Otherwise, you go back in the font box up here and you X out of this one. I already forgot what the other one we did was. So it's Chasing Hearts. So I'm just going to type that in. And here it is. And if you remember, this one is the neat one where you can um, put little um, symbols and stuff on it. So I'm going to go back into Chasing Hearts. And I'm going to go down here at the bottom. Up here. And then it shows you all the um, little symbols that you can do. And I like this one. So I'm going to try that one. It looks like a little star here. So I'm going to go back in here. And after the welcome, actually after the E on the welcome, I'm going to do that little asterisk. Oh wow, look at that. That is so cool. So you can easily do little symbols on here that um, come with this particular one. Uh, they're, they're different for each one, so just always look at the bottom here as to what you can add. But I like that. That's really cute. So again, you can attach it like I did with the hello, or you can leave it alone, however you want. Um, but I think it's kind of neat when they come with the little symbols that you can put on there as well. Um, but it's that simple. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, please let me know. If your computer is different than mine and you're having issues downloading or putting it into Design Space, design space please let me know. But this was such a fun tutorial. I love this new font that I had found with these little hearts. I think that is so cute. Um, again, it's called Chasing Hearts. Um, so if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to ask away and I will try to do my best to help you out. But I hope everyone has a great day and have fun cricketing and crafting. I would love to see what you create. So if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up.